hey guys welcome to any course productions and I have a new video here for you guys and in uh, basically the series uh, I have started to go ahead and share with you some of the, my favorite apps on the Android Play Store uh, so uh, here's my first video and uh, basically in this video uh, I'll be reviewing my first app um, and this is an app which I personally find very useful uh, for anyone who likes to tweak their phone or go ahead and install several custom ROMs or uh, basically just uh, tweak around with kernels frequencies and basically uh, play around with their phone a lot and uh, its name as you can see already uh, is system monitor and uh, it's uh, found in two versions on the play store the first version should be a uh, free uh, or the light version and the second one is the full uh, paid version um, so there you can see uh, system monitor there are two types uh, one is the light version on the bottom and the full version on the top and here is the light one and the light one is basically free to install but it does not have all the features that would come with the full version obviously and uh, here you can see how the app looks and you can see it's pretty popular out there uh, they can read up a brief d d description about the same as well and moving down you can see it has a 4.6 average rating out of 5 so great and you can see f a lot of 5 star ratings for this app out there so if you basically want to try it out before you go ahead and make the full purchase you always have that option of trying out the light version and if you like it then probably uh, you have to unlock the full uh, uh, all the features of this app you can go ahead and buy it so I have gone ahead and purchased it for the price of three dollars and fourteen uh, cents if I if I remember right. So uh, and you can see here the f uh, the rating for the full app is even higher, a rating of four point eight out of five, and you can see it has almost two hundred five star ratings. And for a new app, I would say it's pretty good. So you can see there uh, basically the bar graph saying it all. Um, and let me just go ahead and install it and show you guys how the app looks and how it works. Um, and like I mentioned to you guys, it cost me around three dollars and fourteen cent, and I uh, I would say it's worth every uh, every bit that I paid for it. Um, so uh, I would definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and try it out, and if you like it, go ahead and even purchase the whole uh, the full app. Um, it's almost done installing here, and it should be up and running within a minute or two. And now the main reason why I went went ahead and purchase this app is because I, I personally install a lot of custom ROMs uh, kernels and I tweak around with uh, frequencies and, uh, and I basically play around with my phone a lot so this really helps me to monitor my uh, system and th the amount of features that it provides I, I would say uh, no other uh, app provides uh, and uh, with the same amount of uh, the quality of the app is great as well so I uh, here you can see I have gone ahead and started my uh, uh, the app itself and there you can see the several of the item that it monitors firstly being the CPU uh, which you just saw and here you can see the RAM it shows you the RAM usage the free RAM and how the usage percentage the total RAM disk IO read speeds write speeds usage your disk usage speed uh, it also sh shows you uh, your network uh, speeds it monitor it helps monitor your network as well it basically allows you to monitor uh, your data receiving speeds your se sending speeds uh, it also helps you to monitor your apps basically which apps you uh, use your maximum uh, system resources such as CPU time CPU frequency and RAM uh, moving on it helps you monitor your uh, battery so basically it helps you monitor uh, how much percentage of bat battery you have estimated time to uh, empty uh, basically time uh, taken for your bat battery to uh, drain in the uh, if it continues to drain at the uh, the current usage basically and lastly it helps you to monitor your temperature as well and all this it helps you to do in a very very clean and basically uh, I would say uh, classic uh, interface as you can see the most uh, elite apps out there and here for the CPU part it helps you uh, basically shows you a graph of each of the core uh, it separately shows you details for each core each core frequency each core usage 
and it also has a bit of customization so basically the first thing you can customize is your theme it gives you choose uh, allows you to choose from several uh, themes it allows you to toggle between battery history your estimation uh, basically if you want to turn on or off estimation to predict uh, when your battery will uh, completely drain out it helps you to change your time settings your temperature it helps you to uh, choose uh, celsius or fahrenheit uh, it helps you change your uh, monitoring interval so if you basically don't want it to update every second you can go ahead and uh, hit uh, basically uh, specify how many after how many seconds you want the app to update and uh, allows you to uh, basically tailor it to your needs so if you want to uh, monitor it every five seconds you can go ahead and do that as well uh, so moving on uh, it also helps you uh, to uh, place the icons or a quick uh, quickly access these from your notifications so when I turn it on as you can see it shows up in my notification drawer and simply by tapping it it will launch the whole app so it allows you to do that for each individual uh, uh, item so you basically if I want to place the CPU monitor in my notification drawer I can go ahead and do that so like as you can see here under the not, not CPU notification drawer uh, it's all set to off right now but I can simply go ahead and turn it on like uh, let me just go ahead and turn on the RAM notification so uh, there you can see the RAM notification uh, uh, is in my notification drawer and I can basically place any number of uh, these monitors in my notification drawer just by turning them on and I can basically tweak them as well uh, the width the height and uh, the interval as well so lastly uh, it also helps you uh, to tweak a bit more settings basically if you want uh, it to be running always in the background you can go ahead and turn that service on and you can basically uh, specify when to turn on monitoring when to turn it off by sp specifying the start times the end times uh, so that's really great as well uh, and basically you can always have uh, it constantly monitoring your uh, syst uh, system usage in the background uh, and lastly I've kept the background monitoring for last uh, and flying monitor for last uh, because a flying monitor is one unique feature of this app that is only available in the uh, full version so let me just go ahead and show you a demo of the same uh, now basically to enable fly monitor you have to go ahead and tap that button and basically a small uh, excuse me there for a minute okay I'm back so uh, what it basically allows you to do it basically uh, pops up this widget kind of thing uh, onto your screen which basically stays on your screen throughout uh, uh, throughout the time that the app is running so and this widget basically is not fixed you can move it around it redraws over whatever is on the screen so it basically stays on top of whatever app you're running uh, and shows you the level of system usage of the same now this is one of the main main reasons that I purchased this app because uh, several times when I'm uh, I wanted to test my system usage while doing something such as gaming I basically didn't have any way except to exit the game and then uh, test out uh, how much uh, system resources are being used but basically what this has allowed me to uh, do is basically it has allowed me to monitor uh, my system uh, resources in real time uh, while as I don't even have to exit out of the app so basically uh, just as you can see it's updating in real time even uh, on top of the apps itself so uh, and uh, you're not limited to the number of widgets you can have on at a specific time so basically if I want to monitor my CPU my RAM uh, my disk read write speeds all at the same time while an app is running I can go ahead and do that simply by opening up as many of these widgets as possible and I can go ahead and uh, change the size the width the height of each of these widgets so really really great flex flexibility so here as you can see on top of my on top of my browser I can see my RAM usage uh, just by keeping this uh, widget open all the time and it's a uh, every second so basically it shows me my RAM uses every second it's being cached by while it's uh, being rendered uh, and the same goes for a discrete write speed CPU uh, and all, all such uh, activities however there, there I think there are uh, just limited uh, uh, number of features that uh, it allows you to monitor uh, using these widgets and you can see you can open up as many widgets as fit on your screen so uh, but like I was saying uh, I think uh, the widgets is only limited for CPU RAM and disk uh, and uh, your battery your uh, temperature do not have these widgets so uh, th you will have to go ahead and uh, 
monitor them only in app but you can obviously keep them running uh, in your notification drawer and simply toggle your no notification drawer each time you want to see that so uh hopefully this uh, review was useful and uh uh, hopefully I've convinced you guys of uh, how great this app is and uh, if you feel uh, that you're a person who likes tweak mod uh, overclock underclock undervolt definitely go ahead and try out this app you'll definitely find it useful and being uh, having a trial trial version always uh, uh, you can go ahead and try it out the trial version before you make the full purchase so yeah thanks guys for watching I hope you liked this video and for more such videos go ahead and subscribe and like this video and thanks for watching peace out